I was with the children on a Formula One race at the Red Bull Ring this weekend, then to my sister in the south of Austria in Klagenfurt. The flight conditions are supposed to be great on Tuesday, so I'm looking where to go. There are several quite popular takeoffs in the vicinity of Klagenfurt, but an hour away is Embergel Alm, which definitely belongs to the top 10 of the Alps, so I'm going there. The crew is little unhappy that we are going for a long time. An hour is for landing and then another 20 minutes to take off. But in the end, my sister with the children takes me there. Thanks. I hope it will be worth the trip. At the takeoff, I meet Dan Procházka, with whom I was at a race. He advises me how to stretch the triangle for 100 kilometers, but I don't give a damn about that. I primarily want to come back and I don't care if I fly 80, 90 or 100. The plan is to fly as small a triangle as possible, but mainly to close it. I need to the right from the start, but first I fly to the left for a thermal. Several pilots are thermaling there, but Vario beeps even a few hundred meters away. I turn a bird in the hand while saying to myself, this is enough for me, and I'm above them in a moment. Then I fly comfortably. I am above a few other pilots, so I can orient myself according to them. But the first leg is simple anyway. The slope is against the wind, the thermals are everywhere and the sinks are rare. I reach the base on the first turn point and send it behind the ridge. Several wings were flushed down there, but I have much better height, so I am not even afraid of the rotor. The volley jump is really completely cool. I lose about 900 meters, but after a little bit of sniffing on the next slope, I find a great 3 meters per second thermal that will take me up before you would say seashells, seashells. The other leg goes well too. On the second turn point, I say to myself that the easier half is behind me. And that's right. On the third leg, I fly a bit against the base south wind and also the eastern wall wind, which does not seem very strong to me. Along the way, there are ribs, and it is quite turbulent between them. In the middle of the third leg I sink a lot, but then I reach soar 500 meters against a sloping wall. I try to turn it, but the wind always immediately pushes me on the rock, so I just do figure eights. At the end, as a reward, a 5 meters per second thermal awaits me, which will take me to the edge of the cloud. I focus on keeping my course away from the rocks and I'm out of it in a moment.
Before the third turn point, I patiently climbed what I can. I even get an extra 100 meters from one cloud in the front. And I say to myself that the flight is almost done. The last leg is in the direction of the volivind and next to the downwind rock, so it should be fine. But first, it is necessary to overcome one complicated passage. The valley splits and turns here, so I want to get up in a bend and jump to the front wall. But that will prove probably impossible. A not too strong valley wind will not take me too high, and soon the rotor from the base wind will start to appear. I'm evaluating the jump to the front wall as unrealistic. It will flush me down next to the blown wall, I will have a hard time pushing against the ventured wind, and I will also get knocked in the rotor. I therefore decide to jump to the opposite western slope. Unlike the eastern one, it is beautifully lit and the base wind blows on it. Although with a rather fierce fight, but in the end I successfully reach through it again, I turn a thermal a bit at the top and then I continue. For the jump back, the height seems small to me, so I stick to the western slope, but the wind is a bit from the southeast, so the slope is no longer downwind and it is turbulent here. That's why I have to jump back willingly or not. At the jump, I think that maybe it will work out, and my wing suddenly collapses above my head. I don't know if the volley wind just met the base wind or what happened. Fortunately, I will only fall for about 20 meters and fly to the downwind slope at 900 meters above sea level. When I'm at it, the varial starts doing B, B, B. B. It usually ends after a while, or it gets stronger over time so that I can turn it. But not here. I'm flying straight ahead and I climb a good 200 meters in a half meters per second climb. I'm telling myself that I can reach the finish like this, but when I hit a 3 meters per second thermal, the third best today, I turn it to 2000. It then flies by itself to the finish. I can only enjoy the views. But it was a good decision to get some height. The turn is more complicated further ahead and the slope would not work so well anymore. After closing the track, I make at least spirals. Even though I don't like wasting height, I don't want to try my luck with some more complicated fitter figures after a day's shift. I was flying in the Alps for two days in the past, but it was in the Dolomites, which are a little bit different. I also had an experience pilot on a radio. Today I was by myself for the first time. It fulfilled everything I expected from it. It was a beautiful flight, but challenging. If I landed at the camp after four hours, I would probably think that I could have stretched it somehow. But like this, I'm happy that I chose the minimalist version and flew only the classic Greifenberg 5. According to X contest, 9 people tried it today and I was the only one who closed it, so it was really a challenge. Flying in the Alps is much easier than flying in the plains, if you know what you are doing. 
main thing is to know how the wind blows and also how it will blow where I fly. Then the route is pretty obvious. All you have to do is stick to the ridges or ribs, look at the clouds and turn what you can before jumping the valleys. The nature is beautiful here and the complete experience is very fulfilling.